Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial and I watched the film Stuck in Love the other day with Lily Collins in it and I was just reminded about how beautiful she was so I basically wanted to do a makeup tutorial inspired by her so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first up I am going to be using Perfection Lumiere Velvet by Chanel in the shade 10 Beige. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then using the number 7 blusher brush um, I'm just going to apply that all over in the picture where I'm getting the inspiration from um, her skin just looks so flawless and kind of just really sort of pretty and um, velvety so I thought this foundation would probably be the best for it. It has a really nice finish. I'll do um, concealer after I've done sort of everything else just to tidy up and cover any um, imperfections. I've got a spot right there and it's really annoying. So next are the all important brows and I have not been blessed with the most full brows and so I have to cheat a little bit and for that I'm going to be using a Rimmel eyebrow pencil in black brown and I'm basically just going to sort of thicken them up Next product I'm going to use is the Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and this just helps keep them in place and basically make them look fuller as well because this clings to every single eyebrow hair. I forgot to say this is um, Maybelline as well. Okay, so now that the brows are done, um, I'm going to move on to the eye makeup I'm doing today and it's basically just a really nice um, deep blue smoky eye and for that I'm going to be using um, Bobbi Brown Creamy Eyeshadow Stick in Midnight. This is quite an intense colour so I'm just going to um, lightly apply it close to the lash line to begin with. And you don't have to be neat with it because um, you can just blend it out afterwards. And then to blend it out I'm going to be using the NYX, it doesn't have a name but it's number 15 and it's just sort of a short um, smudging brush. And I'm just going to smudge that out. I'm also going to use my MAC 217 brush as well just so it's definitely blended out. I'm going to reapply the top just so it's a better colour. Yeah, I highly recommend these um, eyeshadow sticks. They are quite pricey but um, I feel like they're one of those products that is actually sort of worth the money. I'm just going to keep repeating what I did before and blend it out. The next product I'm going to be using on my eyes is the Scandalized Waterproof Coal um, Liner in Black by Rimmel. And I'm just going to draw sort of a, a thin line um, over my lash line just to define my eyes a bit and then I'm going to go underneath lightly as well. So basically it's just a really light outline um, just to bring it all together and it just defines the eyes um, and for my mascara I'm going to be using the Max Factor Masterpiece Max and this just is great for adding volume and length. Okay, so that is the eyes done. Next I'm going to be using the Wake Me Up Concealer. And 
And then to blend it in, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to use the Stay Matte Rimmel Powder to powder my face and set any sort of concealer. Oh, and I'm using the Buffing Brush by Real Techniques. For my cheeks, I'm going to be using Rimmel in Pink Rose. And it's just a really pretty, um, sort of peachy pink blush colour. It's quite subtle, but adds a bit of colour to your cheeks. To finish off this look, I'm going to be using uh, my favourite lipstick at the moment, which is another Rimmel product, and it is Naughty Nude, um, and it's just a really nice pink nude colour. So guys, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this um, as much as I enjoyed doing it, and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!